Okay. The question is, what is GIS? And I'm going to get at that, but first I'd like to tell you a story. Let's pretend that there were three towns, and those three towns are represented by these three points. Let's say each point represents the, the center of the town. And those three towns have a problem. They have forest around them. This is a polygon, um, let's say, kind of a forest land cover polygon that, that represents where the forest is. And these three towns that kind of live near the forest or are near the forest have roads that connect them, and the roads all go through the forest as well. And those roads that go through the forest, sometimes um, they get kind of damaged in the wintertime because of um, either downed power lines or from branches in the forest that come down and, and cross the roadway. And the maintenance of those roads in the forest is higher than the maintenance of the roads that are not in the forest. So the towns would like to know um, who, which town actually has more roads by the mile that go through the forest. Because uh, let's say they're getting funding from the state to uh, help clean up their, their wintertime roads. So you could, if you wanted, using a GIS, um, take a boundary file. In the boundary file, let's say these are the boundaries of the towns. And using that boundary file, you could alter the roads so that you could see which roads are technically owned or controlled by which town. Then using those controlled roads, you could then intersect those with the, um, with the, with the forest polygon. And now that we've intersected those roads um, that go through the towns by the forest, we could say, well, what is the mileage of each of these types of, uh, of roads? And your answer might be something like this. Well, OK, there's 20 kilometers of roads that go through the forest for the magenta town. And there's eight kilometers of roads that go through the forest for the yellow town, and only two kilometers of roads that go through um, the forest for the blue or cyan town. And I hope that you can see that we've just used several pieces of data to do a very short analysis. Um, and that analysis kind of, some people might say, well, you used one map, two map, three map, four map, five map, six map. But really, we didn't use all those different maps. We really just used three pieces of data, the boundaries, the roads, and the forest. And we kind of altered them in a way that let us create one map at the end that shows our analysis. So GIS is kind of the way we manage and use geographic information to solve problems or to describe the landscape on a computer. Um, and cartography or map making is the way we organize that information in a way that makes it um, easy to look at. So we can kind of see the entire analysis at once. Um, for instance, in this map, um, you know, I've chosen to kind of make the roads um, lighter and less less bright when they don't matter, very bright in yellow when they go through the forest in near the town that they represent. So the cartography is the design kind of behind this final map, whereas the GIS is just using all of these information, you know, using tools to manipulate this information to, to measure and kind of arrive at the conclusion that says, yep, 20 kilometers, 8 kilometers, 2 kilometers. You could think of it as um, the difference between making pie charts or scatter plots or bar charts or things like that and using a spreadsheet. GIS is more the data behind the map and cartography is the visualization of that data.